Hello, hello. This is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our uh, keyword week looking at Miracle this time. I really do like Miracle. Uh, we're also trying to keep the videos under 10 minutes, so I'm cutting out the honorable mention section, which might not be a big deal. I don't know. Um, also, bad news. I'm on my last uh, bag of Twinnings tea right now, so... My wife ordered four boxes of uh, Twinnings tea for me, like, two weeks ago, and I, uh, drank it all already. Ah, uh, Twinnings tea. It's all their fault for being so good. Please hit like and subscribe. It really does make a big difference. So it lets me know, like, what people like and what people don't like. Because I really don't know. People who give me even comments that let me know, like, what they're looking for, what they're interested in, Please let me know, because I do always take it into account. I always try. What is Miracle? So it's an ability word that was released in Avacyn Restored. Basically, if you draw a card, if it's the first card you draw on your turn, it gives you a Miracle cost. An alternate spell cost is way lower. It's a massive rebate off of the regular cost. The regular cost is usually kind of high for the effect you get. So you could cast it for its regular cost, it's going to be kind of a bad deal. So there's a downside there, but the upside is if you can control your top deck, for, especially like blue is very good at this, this, uh, this keyword doesn't really have a strong affiliation with any particular individual color, but blue I think is definitely the best fit with it because it is it, it allows you to just like really decide what's going to happen when you're going to draw that card and which card you're going to draw is what Miracle is all about. Uh, Surveil is also very good for that as well, for a black option. Anywho, does this sound familiar? So this is similar to, I would say, Madness, or maybe the exact opposite of Madness. Again, Madness, you get an alternate spell cost when you discard, not when you draw it first, when you discard the card. And it also can have many different effects. So yeah, Madness can have multiple effects, whereas this is always a cost reduction. It's much more like predictable in that way. Um, I think both are very good, but they're almost like, again, I wouldn't, a Madness Miracle deck almost wouldn't work, I think. Like, you'd almost be putting just two entirely different things together and without anything to really hold them together. Uh, anyway. Number five. A Sister Repentia for three white black and its miracle cost is just white black so you can cast this for two mana only. Which is a good deal. It's a 5-1 and when it dies you may gain two life and draw two cards. Oh. This is, I put in the number five spot, not because I think it's not very good, because it's good, not because of the miracle. The miracle's nice. Having a five one for two mana, okay, sure. When it dies, you're gonna gain two life and draw two cards. That's insane. If you can use some recursion, again, this is Orzov, right? It's white black, so recursion is very, very common. This should be a staple in Orzov decks, I think. Anyway, yeah. Just recur this and that's your card draw set, I think. Anywho, yeah, 20 cents. Number four. Aminatu? Aminatu, yeah. Bell Piercer. So she's an Esper commander. Uh, one, what, uh, I guess card, not necessarily commander. One, white, blue, black. At the beginning of your upkeep, surveil two. So you get to surveil every single upkeep. Remember, that's before your card draw step. So you're gonna be always setting yourself up, hopefully for that for that miracle, right? Um, also has blue as well. White and black, I think, are the most common colors with this. Excuse me, with miracle, but yeah. Having blue in the mix just gives you that control. And yeah, surveil too every single turn is a super good ability usually but with a bunch of miracle cards it just no oh boy it takes off again surveil is you look at the cards and you can decide to put it back in your deck or into your graveyard just in case each uh, enchantment card in your hand has miracle its miracle cost is equal to its mana cost reduced by four so 
anytime you draw an enchantment card, you can cast that for four less. Oh boy, that's crazy. So an enchantment matters commander for sure, but yeah. You can just really set yourself up very easily. With this, it's only 51 cents. I I put these one of these in my cart right away when I was like, 51 cents for this? That's crazy. Number three. Okay, Devastation Tide. Three blue blue for its miracle cost is one in a blue. One in a blue only. Oh my. Return all non-land permanents to their owner's hands. So you're just getting everything off the board all at once. Everything's just gone. Back to their owner's hands. Um, they're not going to be able to recast everything on the board, so they're going to have to discard, first of all. Secondly, you're going to combine this with something that allows you to flicker your board, right? You're, you're not going to lose all your stuff. That's a little bit more tricky to set up, but it's so powerful. You can really just run away with the game. What you're doing is you're setting everyone way back. You know, there's, you're setting them almost to turn one except for the lands. And then you're you're like, oh yeah, I'm so good to go though. Um, this is almost a win con. It's, it, it's really just so mean. Anyway, 42 cents only. Number two. Revenge of the Hunted. Okay, this is four green green, or its miracle cost is only one green. Incredible miracle cost. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus six, plus six, and gains trample. And all creatures able to block it this turn must do so. So, this allows you to just pick one creature attack to attack with, and all of your other creatures get through, no problem. Ideally, I would combine this with, like, um, not Intimidate, uh, bah, bah, bah. with, uh, Vigilance. There's the word. Yeah, I know words. With Vigilance, and then, yeah, you can just swing with everything, and then everything's still untapped. Like, oh, oh, ready to block. And really, what you're doing is you want to cast this on something like that has Death Touch or something. And, yeah, this is going to take out the entire board for someone else. This will change in a whole game. Like, someone else is way ahead in the game, and you've got that one creature with death touch is all you need, and you cast this on it, and just attack, and then it can, like, wipe out their whole board. Um, that's just insane. Anyway, 23 cents. Number one. Treat the dead. Okay, so XX at three black. Pricey? Miracle causes X black black. Not bad. Return X target creatures from your graveyard to the battlefield. This is only really good, I think, if you can get that miracle cost. I It's not worth it for the regular cost. I would have it in the deck as an option, I guess, but I think this one is the one that's most like you need to have that miracle cost on it. Maybe the last one too, I think, but yeah. These, the top two here are like, if you can't get the miracle cost, don't put it in the deck, you know? If you're just like gambling that you'll pull it first out of the, you know, out of the 60 or to 100 cards, um, no, don't do that. Um, it's, but yeah, returning a whole bunch of creature cards of your choice from your graveyard straight to the battlefield. Oh my gosh, if you have a deck that has haste, um, just so much it can do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, 64 cents. Okay, here we go. The list. Uh, Sister Repentia. 20 cents. Aminatu. Bell Piercer. 51 cents. Devastation Tide. 42 cents. Revenge of the Hunted, 23 cents, and Treat the Dead, 64 cents, all under a dollar even. Hey, anyway, take it easy.